in my family, when someone gets to the age of 21, a terrible thing happens to him. It's either you become a victim of a psychiatric situation or you are afflicted with a disease that even the best doctors cannot diagnose. I'm not just talking about Nigerian doctors. I'm talking about samples being taken to places in the United Kingdom for screening and their laser equipments were not able to see the seedlings that were planted by demons. And when I became 21 years old, I was already on campus and I was heading to the prayer room. I was 10 minutes late and it came to pass. As I was heading there, I found out that meanwhile our prayer was 12 midnight to 1 a.m. That's our prayer time, okay? Are you with me now? Do you know a typical campus, there is no time of the day you walk on the walkways that you'll be walking alone? A typical campus. But unfortunately for me, that day when I was walking on the walkway, I was alone. And a strange bird appeared. I didn't say the, the bird flew. I said it did what? It appeared. And it made an attempt to stand on my head. That was when I realized how some of my brothers were afflicted. Are you there? If you don't know my family, we are some of the most intelligent people among my tribe. And I say this because I have facts. Are you there? And mostly when this attack comes, so that bird wanted to stand on my head and I, 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 I now went in the flesh. I thought that because it came close, I thought that if, if, I, if I hit it like this, it will fall down. Though we walk in the flesh, <laughs> we do not war <laughs> after the flesh. So when I attempted to hit the team, the bed did not fly. The bed moved. It didn't, it didn't do like this. It just moved. It just, just enough for my hand to pass. I know you will not believe it. I know you think I'm, I'm, I'm trying to relate a, a, one of the Nigerian Nollywood movies to you. <laughs> the thing just moved. And then began to come again. And then the Holy Spirit whispered to me that if you, if you accommodate fear tonight, you will die. So I closed my eyes because the thing was trying to change to something. I closed my eyes and I spoke in tongues in capital letters. <laughs> After 15 minutes of exercising my spirit, I opened my eyes and I saw that the thing fell and one of his wings was broken. I said, ah, the thing is working. Oh. After that little squabble, three days later, the last among my relatives, the oldest that refused to die, he defied death. Oh, Cheney. <laughs> I don't want to go for May the Lord give you understanding. Oh, Cheney was the most peaceful man on earth. If, yes, if there is a fight, and he sees it, Ah, he will run away. I said, ah, that his heart cannot take quarry, cannot take. He was a man of peace. Ah. He earned the reputation of the most gentle man among our district people. Ocheni was a warlock that was flying in a bed and bringing madness to every compound. Every compound. Do you realize that? Oh, you are not following. You are not following. <laughs> Ocheni. <laughs> Ocheni came out after that and he came to his door. He sat, he stood by his door. Everybody that greeted him, he did not answer. 
And after about 20 minutes, he fell face down. That's how he died. It's after that death that peace came into my family. I'm not saying we kill people. I'm just saying sometimes strong men are victims of, of combat. And tonight, Ocheni. There were many people visiting the psychiatric hospital because of the power, the strength, the exploits of Ocheni. Ocheni can bend the destinies of people, promising people that are rising stars for the next generation. The moment it takes interest in you, a mishap that will preoccupy you for life becomes your portion. Should I tell you something? It's not enough for you to be gifted. You need to pass from the realm of gift to the realm of strength. Because the Bible says that the people that do know their God. Men that pray cannot be manipulated. If you stay in prayer, one day you will pray and sleep. And your eyes will open, you will see what Satan does not want you to see. You will see it. You will see it. Who would have known that Ocheni? Ocheni. <laughs> oh God. The hand of God will come upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. He wants to take over your family entirely. He wants to send your husband on the streets so that his eyes will be in Sabongiri. And he will, not, he will forget that before he married you, he had to lie down, he had to do a ballet. You know, those of us that married from Yoruba land, when we came, we told them that we are from, the, from a royal line. We don't kneel down. They say, okay, we have heard, we have heard. <coughs> oh. <laughs> when we got there, they say, they have an ancient culture. <laughs> The culture requires that you what? I said we are from <laughs> all of those matters were not they, they, no no they, they, they were trivialized. We have to work. And in fact, it was on the grass that we went down. And then they now started speaking Yoruba, speaking Yoruba. So we're there for long. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're there for long. But at the end of the day, we got the best woman that Nigeria could give. The best. <laughs> When you see me preach, you will know I'm a happy man. It's because Charles. Hey. Do you know that from our wedding day, some people had looked at us and despised us. And they felt that the only thing that was good for us was death. 14 days after our wedding, they sent a coffin. Oh, you were dancing to the altar like. Ocheni will look at you and say, Hayako Minasai Yakeda Mudu. Saimo Harabakuria Mahasanto. My ordination was 14 days after my wedding. So I went to the bathroom to take my bath. That was when the coffin came. And my wife was lying on the bed. And they called her name, her spirit sat up, walked out of her body, I was going towards the coffin. Are you there? You know what helped us? We did not just come for the ordination, we came for the conference leading to the ordination. A certain minister of the gospel, you know him, but I will not mention his name. He administered on Friday night, our ordination was Saturday morning, okay? The moment he came to the pulpit, he said, there are 38 coffins that he can see. The 
the first person that fell down was my wife. I said, Then he prayed for my wife. We went home. The next morning, they still sent the coffin while I was taking my bath. So when she was about to touch the coffin, that's when I opened the door and came out. Then her spirit went back. And then she shouted from the bed. I said, hey! What's that? She said, Ah, a coffin came. I said, Gee, coffin? So while we were marching with white suit, I, oh, you need to see my white suit. I imported it. I was shining like this. But you see, some people that watch us march with joy, huh? what they felt we were deserving of was death, was mourning, was sorrow. The people that don't know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do as well.